Glenn Dennis, who was employed as an undertaker, was asked by the base to provide coffins and ice for children. At the base, Dennis saw the remains of the UFO and met a nurse, an acquaintance of his, at the door of the local doctor's surgery. She said, uh, uh, you're in, <coughs> get out of here, get out of here as fast as you can because you're in a lot of trouble. You will be in a lot of trouble. But in the, then she went on across, and in the meantime, she was having difficult breathing. Next morning, about 11 o'clock, she calls me and uh, said she had to talk to me. She said, we have to get together. Uh, she uh, informed me that then this lady was still crying, and she was, she was still upset, and her face was all... Uh, scratched and her hair was messed up and everything that she said she hadn't slept all night and she was you know she didn't know what was going to happen she said that in one crash bag there was two very mutilated small bodies and she explained that they had a, the hands were severed on one the doctor would take a long forcep and turn it over they explained that there was four fingers very fragile they had little pads on each end of the four fingers and uh, the way the doctors described it, that it looked like there might be little minute suction cups in those pads. Then she explained to me that they had a the very large head that were flexible like a newborn child. The eyes were very large. They did not have a bridge. The nose, the face was concave. They had two orifices. The mouth was only one inch. There was no teeth or tongue. They uh, did not have the ears, as we know. They had two ear canals, a double ear canal, not just one ear canal. Uh, so uh, what she did, the night before, she drew me a, a small diagram on the back of a prescription pad that she always kept in her uniform there. And she did the best she could on, on, on the drawing of, of the head and the, the little arms and explaining to me what it was. She gave it to me and told me that... Uh, uh, she wanted me to have it, but that I would never reveal where I got it. I mean, that her name, she did not want to be involved anymore in this, and all. And I gave her a sacred oath that I would not reveal her name. And uh, that was the last time I saw her. I called out the next day, and they said that she was transferred out that afternoon. They don't know where. About six weeks later, I get a, a letter from uh, England about... Six weeks later, my letter came back, and down on the corner it said, Return to Center, and it had in the red letters, Deceased, and it was sent back to me.